All right, we got a little decorating to do outside. I'm gonna try to get this done before Monkey gets home because she gets home after dark, so should be a surprise for her. Let's get into this, man. Forgot one. Okay, so this is the little Christmas tree that goes over by the door. These are lights that like went up the driveway and around the house. We're not going to be using them. These are her little snowmen. They're going to go over there. In front of the flowers there. And I've got to get this guy out here. Man, this thing's getting old. Just like four years old. Maybe five now, so meaning we bought it four or five years ago. This is the deer. I can't believe they're they're still working, but they work. Well, it's one deer, but all right. So we're probably not going to use these. This is the Christmas present that goes on the boat. This is a truck. It goes on a boat on the boat like I said I don't know if I'm going to be decorating the boat yet or not <coughs> let's see what else we got here let me get you this is one of our kaleidoscope lights These were icicle lights. I don't even think we hung them last year. There's more color lights down there, so probably not going to need that stuff. Bring this. Okay, this is the the two part wreath that goes around the door. I hate this thing. This thing is so heavy, it's hard to put up. There's two of them. We bought one our first year together. And of course it only went around half the door so we had to go buy another one this was expensive it was almost 50 bucks a piece let's see what we got in this one hopefully you can see all right i see a shadow in there this is another one of these i think i had one of these in the house last year shining into the living room and on the christmas tree and this might be the one might be it looks like it's got food splattered on it so I'm gonna do that again this year because her and her mom really liked it uh, there's some Christmas lights clear I don't know what they're for yeah and then we got this big ball this is um this one here is uh, is uh it's got a remote control to it and I believe this one does as well. I got two remotes in there, so I think this is a remote control too. So, um, I believe I had three out here last year and one inside. So, I'll put three out here again this year, one inside again this year. This goes around the tree out there, the big oak tree. And again, more lights. I had so many lights out here. I can't even remember how many there were, but there was a lot. <sighs> this was sitting in my garage. I set something on it. That's uh, penetrating oil off of something. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in this container here. 
Oh, this was all stuff for the boat. I don't know if I'm going to decorate the boat this year. Probably not. I'm going to move the boat. But, uh, I'll probably put the, when I do my, when I do my solo, I'll probably put the uh, cover on the boat and park it over, put the boat over there beside the Toyota out of the way. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go, we're going to go stick this in the ground and always put it over there by the tree so it's less noticeable. So let's go over there and stick this in the ground. Like I said, I normally put this guy about right in here because it's kind of out of the way. This thing, you can set it on a timer for at nighttime. You can have it on all the time or it's got a sensor that'll come on when it gets dark and that's why I have it set up and then uh, I have it set up to where it comes on when it gets dark and it's on for like five hours and then goes off so I'll probably do that again this year these are the rope lights I always put around this area here we got to trim this get all this stuff out of here because uh, when that was planted there it's not a good idea to do that it's stealing water from the tree and it'll cause that tree to die and it is dying there was one branch came off of it that went out into the road so these are these rope lights you can add a whole bunch of different ones together I'm not sure exactly how many you can without it blowing a uh, there's fuses inside of here so they'll hold up to a certain amount and uh, so I, I'm not sure exactly how how many strands you can put together so I'm gonna go ahead and take this around the tree and bring it back to around here like I said you know so it's less noticeable and I'll be back with you now if I remember right I had this one kind of over here uh, like I said I'm probably going to get another one um, we're going to have to check these this stuff out at night so we can see exactly where we want to put it so once we get this all done so I got it right there once we get this all done because I, I know I had some shining in them trees so but like I said once we get this all done we'll wait for it to get dark and then we'll uh, we'll uh, come out here and we'll adjust them and make them pretty now this one I do remember was out here in front I can remember how to open these this opens up like a turns into a stand I can't remember how to open it now or of course you can stick it in this way I th I thought that I had it opened up into the stand all right let me figure this out okay it's easier than I remember now <laughs> you pull these apart first and those flip out like that and then I had it something like that so we're going to set this down about right here. Like that. Then we're going to put, uh, let me see, I'm not sure. Um, Corvettes in the way or I'd put it over there by that palm tree and shine on that side of the house uh, Hmm, I don't know let me figure this out <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put these up because they're easy kind of holding off on the snow or the uh, The reindeer it's a pain then I got to run a bunch of extension cords 
because I like everything to come on and off at the same time so we don't have to go around plugging stuff in so we're going to go I'll put these up you know I forget where she got these at we got them last year somewhere she had to have them so uh, if you want them get them <laughs> uh, she really liked them, so we got them. They are cute. I don't know what you guys can see. those now I did a foolish thing I uh, I didn't check any of this stuff so hopefully it'll come on when we get it all plugged in I lost the Santa hat because it's hot out here guys it is seventy two degrees December 3rd okay uh, I don't know what I hate worse is the the reindeer that thing around the door but uh, I think we'll do the reindeer next okay so the reindeer he always usually well always lives in this area like he's eating the grass there um, as you can see this thing hate this thing um, it unfolds and folds up and nine times out of ten I'm sure I'll lose a light bulb or two that I gotta track down later and stuff like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try I don't know where the stakes are for this I didn't see them in the box there's stakes that you stake these feet down with like ten stakes um, So I'm going to get this thing figured out like I do every year <laughs> and I'll be back with you. Okay so I think the deer's fought its final round. I'm seeing missing bulbs, broken bulbs, um, its neck's broken here, this piece done, his whole head doesn't want to stay in where it's supposed to stay in. Um, I'll talk to her about that, but I really don't even want to mess with it this year. Um, nothing, you know, you go pack, trying to pack these things in the boxes, they come in, and she does it every year, uh, but it gets broke, it never goes back in the way it's supposed to. I mean, this is another thing we've had many years, and uh, it's just... This thing is just, uh, it has seen better days. Uh, I might plug it in. I know the motor's still gonna work, but it's just, and then you gotta fiddle with all this stuff to get it to work right. His tail won't stay up no more, or her tail, it's a doe. So, I wanna talk to her about this. In fact, I'm gonna message her, see what she wants to do about this. Uh oh, the legs aren't staying in. There we go. See what she wants to do about the deer. I just think it's, you know, sometimes it's time to, you know. Uh, it doesn't want to stay in anymore. Sometimes you have to let things go. And I think this is one of them. Alright, I guess let's move on to the door. I hate that part too. Alright guys, so what sucks about these is you can't put them end to end. There's no end to plug into. 
so when I hook these up they got to meet in the middle up the top then I got to run an extension cord back down and over to the plug that also sucks uh, so hopefully this will go well but I say that every year and it doesn't so uh, and these things are heavy guys I mean real heavy this is I don't know what this is for I don't know what that's for see they they meet in the middle and then well, last year I had a hard time getting one of them working after I hung them up. So this year I'm going to try them first, but, and then you got to mess with these things because they do a couple different things. You got to mess with them to get them sync right. If they don't sync right, they look stupid. So I'm going to plug these in this year <laughs> and, uh, yeah, see, you have to plug these two together here. That's the center. And then run an extension cord down. So I'm going to try these out before I even put these up. Again, this is, uh, we bought these in 2016. So, you know, uh, yeah, five years. Um, I don't know. Let me check them out first. Okay, guys, unfortunately, they do work. <laughs> uh, I gotta hang them. <laughs> Let's do this. Now you see what I'm talking about. Stuff falls off. Uh, they don't want to stay on. They're so big and bushy you can't.
I'm gonna have fast forward you guys. This is, I'm not kidding you, it may take 20, 30 minutes to hang these up. Let's turn them on. I got some adjusting to do, of course, but let's turn them on. Okay. It's no kidding. It took 22 minutes to put them up there, and they're still not quite done. Uh, a lot of people might ask why you used a white extension cord instead of green. Well, my green one's this way too long, and the white, the door jam's white, so white extension cord it matches up fine especially after dark i mean you know that's when you really go go out looking at light so so i'm not going to bore you anymore with that thing and adjusting it so i'm going to adjust it and then we're going to run it run uh some extension cords i don't know if you guys can see what happened i was up there adjusting you know that final little this needs this instead of leaving it alone one side went out well, one set, actually. I can't get them to come back on. Alright, I got them working. I ain't going to touch them. Don't you hate when you say, man, them things are so hard to put up. And the person that don't put them up says, oh, but they're so pretty. Yeah. Alright. On to the next project. Okay, so while I've got you here, I'll just go ahead and plug this big extension cord in. I'm gonna go ahead and shut these off for now. The reason why I gotta run it, well, I don't wanna do that. Um, let's see. I wanna run this one up here so it stays on all the time because that, that runs that main thing over there. That manifold, yeah. <laughs> That's what you call an airline when you want a bunch of different airlines coming out at once, manifold. But, a big green thing we put over there in the uh, ground I went in on all the time because it'll come on and off on its own so um, these ones if she wants to shut them off she can shut them off here so alright we're plugged in now I'm gonna take you over there we're gonna plug that thing in run a couple more extension cords and we'll kind of see what we got we won't be able to see anything in the daytime but we'll see if everything's working. It should. Lights on. That's a good sign. Well, it says off, but I'm going to turn it on. Okay, the red lights work. That down there is working. All right. I'll show you. I, you're not going to be able to see anything on the house yet. But it's working. I believe that's remote control too. That one over there I know is. And these are on. Alright. So I got to run an extension cord from the one over there by. I put that one between the vet and the boat. Like I said, I'm going to move the boat. The boat's probably going to be parked right here. Um after I do my camp out and then uh forget where I was going <laughs> so anyway we're going to come out here tonight let me go go ahead and run a couple extension cords to these guys because I gotta run that over to here and then the other one over to here and my extension cords there hopefully they're long enough Whew. and then we'll call it a day until tonight. Yeah. 
Man, the mosquitoes are out in force. I'm telling you, I'm getting bit up. Now, hopefully you can see when this comes on. I don't want to point you. That's a laser. I don't want to point. I don't know if it'll mess with the camera. I don't want to take that chance. So. And it's on. Cool. Okay. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see any of this, but let's, uh, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah. That's the one. And it does all kinds of stuff. We'll have to, um, you can stop it start it uh, I know you're not gonna be able to see it in this but we'll do it when it gets dark I'm done out here for now so I'm not sure what this is for uh, maybe for the other one maybe you can see it on my hand it's working I don't know anyway this thing's cool because it does clear up in the trees back there behind the house so <coughs> I gotta put my boxes away and wait for it to get dark. Can't forget about these little guys. Come on, baby. Oh, whew. they're on. Go. Cool. See you guys when it gets dark. Yeah, I forgot something else. We've got our fiber optic tree here. Still works well it did last year. Um, but uh, what this does is those little, they're LEDs now. Those little LEDs shine up through here and on the tips of these fiber optic things uh, light up. So let's get the foot in here. Let's get it plugged in and see if it works. And uh, all right, the switch is on. Like I said, I usually just put this up here just to cover the wires a little better. Yeah, it's working. Okay, like that. So I'm not going to bore you with fluffing it out I'll do that and you guys will see it tonight so stick around for a minute okay guys so here we go we got all kinds of stuff happening here let me see here Let's turn this a little bit and see. <clears throat> All right. Whoops. Okay. There we go. And over there, that thing does awesome. You can see it back there in the trees, too. And this tree. That tree. So, yeah. It's alright. Uh, that over there is her little hummingbirds. Her little hummingbird wind chimes. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty cool. That thing there is awesome. I like that thing. <laughs> It'll even show up more over there once I move the boat. So, all right, guys. Uh, that'd be good enough for this year, I think. So let's uh, let's move this back a little bit. All right. Ooh, there we go. 
Awesome. Okay, guys. That's it for now. I gotta take my stuff in. And I'm gonna say, Monkey be here in a few minutes. I'm gonna say, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. I like these twinkly things too. Uh, I moved them up kind of close because with the Corvette there, it wasn't really doing much over here. But those are neat. And then on the inside, I put the, the light up there. So. Hmm? It's pretty cool. Alright guys, Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, I'm gone for now, thanks for watching, hope you all have a Merry Christmas, we'll see you soon, bye bye guys, take care.